Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, as you can see by the title, I will be showing you how to unlock the trade price for the new tuner update DLC vehicles. Now, once you actually go on GTA itself, you know, once the game is updated, you go through all of the cutscenes, you know, you go to the car meet and whatnot. They will not tell you how you get the trade price. They will just say, you know, buy this, this is the warehouse, buy this, blah, blah, blah. So I feel like this video will be helpful to a lot of people. Hence why I'm making it. So in the gameplay in the background, you're just going to see me doing it as you guys would yourself. This is the first time I logged into the game and sort of what I had to go through and to get everything. So you saw on the map, that's where the new, you know, places I got there. So, you know, the fatherless child blew me up. What's new is GTA. So this is the new Kami area. It's very near to the vehicle warehouse itself or the vehicle, vehicle, I can't speak, vehicle workshop where the import and export is on that side of the map. So it's a good area for it. Obviously, when you go there, you'll be putting this cutscene. I will skip through this cutscene in a moment. You're gonna see. So this is just the cutscene to get put through and whatnot. So <clears throat> basically, what you need to know about the trade price is you need to be a certain rep level to unlock certain vehicles. Now, we know how to increase your rep level, which I will tell you in a moment. The only bad thing is, no one said what rep level you actually have to be to unlock the ve like certain vehicles. So, for example the new like ZR 300 something blah 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 it just says um once you go on to buy it in uh, what's the, what's the, once you go to buy it from the place I can't remember the website right now so it's just gone out of my head it will say you know you reach a certain trade price or a rep level and that's it you can unlock it then so that's the bad thing that's the negative but getting the trade price is going to be very simple because upgrading your rep level will be very simple as well so the first thing you can do you can see on the screen right now you're going to go to this guy right here leaning against the blue car he will tell you to do some just stunt races well they're not really stunt races but they're just street races they're very short they're quick and um your rep level goes up pretty quick from there another way is you also buy the auto shop now the auto shop is basically like the garage for the place and it's also like a business so you will be making money off this which i'll make another video about very soon so stay tuned for that but yeah the auto shop is basically you can keep your vehicles in here customize them and for the business you will bring in vehicles here and then customize them and sell them off so it's very simple so that's that once you buy it it will tell you that the two people you know the two organizers whatever their names are the two main people will tell you okay before you work for us all you have to do is just bring some yellow vehicle in and that's it so what you have what you're gonna have to do for that mission is go to the place you're gonna see it right here you're gonna get this vehicle It's impounded it's very simple very quick you lose the wanted level and you bring it back here and uh yeah i'll just play the cutscene in the back you will see as you can see behind this woman right here there's three missions or like sort of mini heists once you complete those those you will also increase your rep level so the idea is whatever you do that involves the actual car meet like it does it involve these two people Whoa. if you're customizing vehicles inside the car meet area you will just oh, in start increasing your rep level you know at some just to a certain extent you know some things will be more some things will be less so yeah, the rep level, it's not also just for the trade price things. You need to be a higher level to, you know, unlock certain um, clothes. If you go to the place, you need to be a certain rep level to unlock clothes. I saw there was like 250 or something like that to unlock the shirt, which is just, it's crazy to think about now, but it's really not going to be that long if you just play GTA. Yeah. And um, yeah, you also need to be higher rep level to unlock certain attachments. Not, not attachments, I'm not playing code. You need to be a certain rep level to unlock different customizations for the car. So if you're on a different hood, it will be, you know, different rep levels, which is annoying, I guess. But at the same time, it does make you play the game to sort of earn your way to get a better car, which makes sense. But at the same time, you know, for the people that don't have time to do that, it's not very fair. But yeah, that's all that needs to be said. Stay tuned to my channel for more updates. I will be making a lot more videos on this. A lot of car customizations coming soon today, actually, in a few hours. So yeah, subscribe. Turn on post notifications and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye.